Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to request a refund on Steam. There are many reasons why you might want a refund. Maybe the game doesn't run well, or you just don't like playing it. Fortunately for you, Steam has a very generous refund policy. As long as the game has been played for less than two hours total and purchased within 14 days of the request, Steam will automatically give you a refund. And even if you don't meet these requirements, there's a pretty good chance they'll still give you a refund. I've successfully refunded a game with about 5 hours of playtime, and also one that I had in my library for over a month. So you're going to have to submit your refund request on Steam's website. It can't be done through the mobile app or the desktop client at the moment. So you'll have to go to help.steampower.com, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're on this page, make sure you sign in, and once you do, you'll see this. So, from here, click on Purchases, and then find the game that you want to refund. I will try refunding Mini Golf Arena, which I bought just for this video. From here, click on I would like a refund, and then click on I'd like to request a refund. I bought this with Steam Wallet credit, so they'll have to refund it to Steam Wallet. If you use something like PayPal or a card, then you can choose the refund payment option. There'll be an option here to do that. So now you have to choose a reason why you're refunding. And typically I'll choose a technical thing, like it's crashing, for example. Um, they have some options, like it's not fun or it's not too difficult. But for me, those always seemed kind of risky to choose because it's a sign that you're just trying to play games and then refund them because you don't like them. So I usually say it crashes um, and then I'll give a brief description. This is mostly automated, so no one's going to read this, but sometimes they do, so you can always put some thought into it. But I'll just say, um, crashes after loading the menu. And that's pretty much it. So you can submit the request, and then that is it. So your ticket will be submitted. If you want to cancel it, you can click here. If you lose this page, you can always go to Recent Help Requests. And I will also link this in the description. It'll show you all of your open tickets. From here, you can open it again, and then you can cancel the refund. So that's basically all I have. Just a heads up, uh, make sure that you don't abuse this system because they do have some hidden limits in place. Um, they're pretty generous, like I said. I think you have at least a refund every 10 days, if not more. And the worst that can happen is that they reject your refund request. They're not going to ban your account or anything like that. So it's a pretty safe option. And one last thing to note is it usually takes up to 24 hours to get the refund. But from what I've seen, it can be as little as one or two hours as well. So that's all I have for this video. Hope I was able to help you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond. And thanks for watching.